in Reno, Nevada today, Hillary Clinton gave a speech. And there are some bizarre happenings during this speech on the TV news feed. It looks like green screen may, may have been used to put the studio audience there at the bottom, set number two, put that together with set number one. Let's take a look at Deep Inside the Rabbit Hole's analysis. very much let's go out and win the election god bless you and god bless the united states of america thank you Let's go out and win the election. God bless you and God bless the United States of America. America, thank you.
Now let's take a look at Hillary's arrival. You're going to notice the set here, okay? It looks like the 4th of July. I mean, this place is decked out from the ground level all the way up to the eaves there. they got a stairway running all the way up the wall. They've got American flags all over. Secretary Hillary right? Rodham Clinton! Here comes, here comes the Hildebeest. Woo! So the Hildebeest rolls out, okay? And she's wearing green, you'll notice. So she's easy to spot. She stands out against the red, white, blue background. Spot her just fine. Now watch. Well, see all these cell phones, all these smartphones at the bottom of your screen? They're holding up their phones. They're getting pictures and video of Hillary in her green pantsuit. And you can see her. You can see the flag on the phone? Look at the phones. See the flag with Hildebeest in front of it? Yeah, okay. It looks like they're uh, taping what's happening in front of them. That looks legit. Okay, that looks just like you'd expect. Now, in a moment, she's going to point up to the mezzanine. And she's going to acknowledge all the folks up there. I'm so thrilled to be back in Reno. Thank you. So as we just saw on these two smartphones, we're seeing what you would expect to see. Hillary in her green pantsuit with a flag behind her, just like what they're looking at. But let's go fast forward to the end of the speech. Hillary is leaving at the end of her speech now. Okay. She goes over and she approaches the lower bleachers. Okay, you can see the podium on the right, the blue podium. She goes over there. She leaves the yellow circle, and she walks over to those lower bleachers. Okay, ignore the lady in white. She introduced Hillary. But this is the sh sh shot of the set. Okay, Hillary's going to go over and chat with those people. There's a problem. As Hillary's leaving, and there's Hillary in the background chatting with the lower bleachers. As she's leaving, look at these two smartphones. The one on the top is shooting something else. The one on the bottom, the red arrows, looks like they have a piece of Baldy's head, but there's the top one. What is that? It looks like a white wall. There's no American flags. There's no red, white, and blue signs. There's no mob of people. It looks like an empty set. Okay, this is on the TV feed, folks. You can go check it out for yourself. So the question is, was the floor audience inserted via green screen? Is the floor audience really there? Because the floor audience is holding up their phones, and they're not seeing any of this. They're not catching any of this on their phones. Okay, the bottom guy again. Let's take a closer look at the bottom guy. You see, he's kind of got the back of Baldy's head. He's kind of taking footage of back of Baldy's head. But beyond Baldy, what do you see? A white wall. There's no flags. There's no people. Okay? They're, he's not catching any of this. How is it not on his cell phone Camera. It looks like he's got footage of a live audience filmed somewhere else. Okay? Filmed on green screen. Now watch. I think it looks like the audience is all together on one set at the bottom of your screen. On set number two, the, the orchestra section, is at one location. And then somewhere totally different, halfway across the country, is set number one at the top. And what do we notice across the middle of your screen? A perfect line, a black dividing line. It's like the bottom frame of a movie screen. It runs across the whole room, folks, dividing the audience. Look, this black dividing line, it's like when you go to the movie theater and you sit in the movie. How do you know where the movie screen begins? Well, up at the front of the movie theater, there's a black wall. And it comes up to about, I don't know, eye level or whatever. And then above that is the movie screen. It looks like these studio people at the bottom of your screen are watching a movie. And they might be watching a green screen, which is combined with a different location, with Hillary on stage and these other audience members. Okay? And that explains why the people in the live studio audience at, at on the first set, on the bottom set, they don't have footage of Hillary because they're not near Hillary. They're halfway across the country. Hillary's not in the room with them. Hillary is not in the room with them. They're at a different, completely different location, different soundstage. And that's why they're taking footage of the empty soundstage. They're acting like they are filming Hillary. But as you can see, no Hillary, no flags up there. Okay, it's a bare set. They're not filming this. They are not together. And you see the, the black line running across, all the way across the room. It's dividing the whole soundstage. From the live action in the in the orchestra, from the from the action in the background, okay, these are two different locations, composited together, 
through green screen. Now, why would you do this? Why not just put Hillary in the room? Why go to all this trouble? Well, here's your answer, folks. You want to know why? Hillary's been getting dragged up the stairs for many months now. Okay? They're having to hold her up at speeches so she doesn't collapse again. She's had falls. She's had concussions. She's having seizures. Does she look well? No. What happens when someone has a seizure? That happens. What triggers a seizure? Well, flash bulbs can trigger seizures. Epileptic fits, seizures. They are known to cause seizures like this. And what do you have at a normal rally or normal convention? You've got Hillary having seizures because she's getting hit with 900 flash bulbs. Okay? They didn't want Hillary to have a live studio audience because if she has another seizure, she's going to hit the ground. And this is it. This is the end of her campaign. She has one more seizure on camera, it's over. If she falls and she can't get up, it's over. That's it. Her campaign's done. So what do I think they did? Well, it looks like they put a fake studio audience in there at a different location, told them, act like you're seeing a Hillary speech. Put up your phones, record it. This way, there's no danger of flashbulbs because the audience isn't even there. Okay, they control the audience. That's why. Check out my channel, Barry Sotoro, for ongoing coverage of Hillary's failing, collapsing health. She's fallen apart. My last video, Hillary Seizure Doctor Drugs Her for Epilepsy. You'll find that link under this video. I've got more on the way.